Hi, after playing the game now, I thought I would make a small review of the game so far. I tried playing as uh, Germany, and uh, for my fir first game, well, it would, was a bit of a mess, but I had decent fun. Uh, I will start. Uh, by giving different aspects of the game a score between 1 and 10 where 10 is the best and in the end I will uh, have an overall score for the game so the equipment and unit production aspect of the game I give uh, 9 out of 10 I enjoyed it very much a very interesting and enjoying part of the game I loved seeing the different equipment I used and uh, when I captured uh, the Czechs and Austrians that I used the uh, Czech and Austrian equipment Sadly, it didn't work for Poland because I guess they weren't annexed. But uh, they really should fix that. That you use uh, equipment of uh, surrendering armies as well. That would would be one way to improve it. Yeah, I I really like that. It uh, yeah. Uh, the graphics of the game are really good. So if, if that's something that's important to you, it's pretty great. 9 out of 10. The diplomacy... Well, I would say it's better than than free. But it's not the best diplomacy game ever, if, if you thought that. So it's 7 out of 10. Decent. Battle plans, I give 7 out of 10. It can be enjoying and somewhat easy to use, but sometimes they're just a bit annoying when you have to circle around and encircle small pockets of uh, enemies. Then it's ju just get annoying and. Uh, you just want to automate it. So a feature that you can uh, turn on automate and off for the AI to just simply deal with those situations would be great. That would increase the score on battle plans. The settings in the game well they're graphic settings but I have all, have all of them on high. It isn't that advance of a graphics game but uh, yeah I don't think there's any wrong with the, uh, the graphic settings but other settings are just lacking tremendously there, there's just a severe lack of every setting so I only gonna give settings 2 out of 10 a very low score there's, there's no messing settings. You ca you can't customize when pop-ups and events gonna show up or not. You could even right-click or click on parts of events or pop-ups in the previous games in Year 4 in CK2 to customize when they would show up. It's completely removed. There's not that in this game at all. That's a real shame and a huge step back, unfortunately. Uh, there's no settings for it in the menu either, so I, I don't know why. There's, there's not that many pop-ups anymore, so I guess that's good, but even if there are few, it's still good to have. And it makes time lapses very hard to do without removing the entire UI. And... Um, the constructions, buildings, 
building factories. It has potential. It, it's uh, it can be good, and I included the trade system in uh, in that as well. Constructions and uh, trade. It can be good, but uh, well, I don't know why, but I I I was waiting for more factories to be to be to be available so that I could uh, trade them for resources so that I could increase my production uh, unit production but uh, they, they, nev they never became available there was just constant things to repair so I couldn't move forward it continued like this for a year I, didn't, I really didn't like that. So the final score on that is 6 out of 10. Uh, the focus has is just... Well, they are replacing events and event driven things in the previous games. So it's just a replacement for that. Are they better? Yes. Are they hugely, vastly better? Well... It's more choice, and that that's it. It's more choice. You can you can choose to do different, more advanced and specified things that you couldn't do earlier, and that's good. But it's not like a complete revolution, revolutionary change. It just it's better. Gives you more choice. Seven out of ten. Pretty decent, but. It's not the best thing ever. And finally, or well, after that, the overall score. But the time lapse score. Because those scores are if you want to, to actually play the game, which, well, is playable. I haven't gone into the difficulty, but uh, what others have said, it can be pretty easy, but I haven't played that for myself, and I'm not that good of a player, so. Not not be as a large problem for me as it is for others. But before we, we move on to the overall score, we have the time-lapse score. How good, easy, suitable is this game to make time-lapses of? It's, well, the results I have seen have, and uh, I gotten myself were pretty bad, so just the the content, the result themselves would would not be good time lapse material. I personally think, but if that's your taste, go ahead. I'm not gonna judge that. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, disregarding the content, the results of the time lapses, how good is the game at making it easy? possible and be customized in order to 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 make easy good looking time lapses the answer is not at all if you're not removing the UI at completely and have to deal with the, the UI being there so you can get the clock to date it's horrible since there are no messing settings, you can't get the pop-ups away. So you have to manually click them away, possibly adding them away. And if they are coming up pop-ups, like, several times a year, that's, that's a lot of edits. And you have to be there at the computer all the time clicking them all away. That's just too much effort for me. And I didn't have to do that previously because I have made things to 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 not have to do that in previous games and I can't do that anymore so time lapse wise this game is a huge step back unfortunately uh, I'm very mu much su surprised about that because how can I actually when games seems harsh wide and free like CK2 and EU4 have, with Observer, have been with uh, introducing the Observer and uh, 
otherwise not versioning really in uh, in uh, being able to create time lapses you get this game which actually is is um, is really horrible in, in trying to make time lapses because it's not easy and it's not good looking not without turning off the entire UI but if you don't want to do that you well you're having a, a big problem so the overall score is 7 out of 10 the time lapse score is 4 out of 10 it can be good I guess but it can also be the game can also unnecessarily make it very hard for you to to do them now I uh, I wanted to do this bec before I start editing another video that will be coming up later this day that I was supposed to do yesterday but um, while I managed to get on the harsh version 4 gaming streak so can you blame me when you, uh, well you got this review out of it so oh well see you until uh, see you in the next video